Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, today we will be learning about just-in-time access, which is available in uh, Azure Security Center. And if you are preparing for AZ500 certification, uh, this will come handy. So watch the tutorial uh, towards the end and let me know if you have any doubts. So what is uh, just-in-time access, right? Before seeing that, let's figure out what are the prerequisites that you should have. So I have created um, a resource group, uh, as you can see here, this is JIT demo. And then I have provisioned uh, a Windows uh, virtual machines. Let's get inside the Windows virtual machine and let's see uh, what are all the ports open in, in this virtual machine. So click on to networking and uh, it will land on to NSG. So as you can see that, you know, right now, all the management ports, which is RDP one, which is open to source and destination as any any and we don't want anybody to you know uh, configure such conf uh, rdp uh, port to be open to any source and destination right so this is will help us the attackers to get into access to this windows box so having said that at the same time you don't want to go ahead and close this rdp port right just completely uh, close it and not anybody to get inside, then what's the purpose of having the Windows box in the first place, right? So to solve this dilemma, Azure Security Center offers something called JIT, which is just-in-time access. So what you're going to do is, you can lock down the inbound traffic to your VMs and reduce the resource to attack while providing the easy access to connect to VM whenever needed. So what I mean by that is you're only going to open this RDP port only when your legitimate users are going to request for it. And then you will open this port for some time and then you will just again close it back. So you make sure that your uh, management ports are not completely open. And at the same time, you let your legitimate user to use these ports. So let's figure out how to do that, right? So I have a resource group, which I have already mentioned, and we have a Windows virtual machine. So I want, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go and delete this uh, nasty RDP rule actually, NSG rule. So um, I should have um, a user called JIT user on Active Directory. So he's a normal user that I have went ahead and created it. So this is the user is going to go and um, request for the access to virtual machine and to open the RDP port. So I've already created this JIT user. Let's go and uh, figure out how to create a custom role and assign that to a JIT user so he can go and uh, request for just-in-time access. So let's go on to access control IAM and then click on add custom role. Let's go and create this role as JIT request and uh, you can just type whatever the information you want on the description let's go on to permission so this is the uh, permission required if you want to go and request for JIT access so let's go and create this custom uh, role and then assign for that JIT so let's go on to permission add permission just search for it and it should pop up something else and click on this and add and then move on to assignable scope as resource group and then go on to JSON and let's just quickly copy that uh, all the permissions that is required for the user to go and uh, request for JIT access so I'll provide all this uh, documentation link down the below so you don't have to worry about so let's move on to add other things as well so he need access to virtual machine Okay, and then put comma, and then uh, we'll finish up with uh, scope. So once this is done, let's uh, we'll go and uh, assign this to the JIT user. So let's go and create a custom role, and I'm gonna click on that. You have successfully created uh, the custom role. So let's click on OK, and then let's go on to role assignment, and. Uh, Give me a second, add role assignment, click add role assignment, and then uh, we should have something called JIT. Let's give some more time. So it took some time to uh, reflect. So I'm into the add role assignment, and then you can see this JIT request, which I have already created. 
and then let's go and uh, select this JIT users and I will save it so once the role assignment is done we will log in as JIT user and then let's see how to uh, go about and uh, request for just-in-time access so it's been added so let's move next thing is uh, we have to go into the security and we should go on to security center and then click on this link that will take you to another uh, web so let's move on there and then let's see uh, scroll all the way down you should have Azure Defender is it's under the cloud security or uh, blade and then you have this just-in-time access so let's click on that and let's see uh, if it's popping up on non configured it's not for some reason I don't see uh, I've often seen that you know it's not getting listed here but we can uh, go about and enable the just-in-time um, access through a virtual machine so let's move on there and see uh, if we can do that so if we go under uh, virtual machine which is uh, our Windows box we have our settings played under the configuration if you click on uh, here here uh, we have the option to enable just in time but uh, ideally we should be using uh, the one under the Azure Defender not configured but I'm not sure uh, why it is not listing so if you guys know just let me know but I have seen uh, this kind of bug and often so let's open the Azure thing even after enabling it's not reflecting here so once you have enabled uh, the just-in-time access to a uh, virtual machine, get on to uh, Security Center and then the Azure Defender and then click on the Configure. You can see the Windows box which is uh, uh, been uh, you know, under the Configure and then there is one request that uh, we're going to make it. So right now it's the access is last active now and then I'll show you how to uh, give access in terms of um, the protocols and then the number of hours that needed. So if you click on here it says that time range is three hours you can actually go ahead and do a change on the number of hours that you allow them to have access so let's click on this and click edit and click on here and you can have the only option that we have is delete because there is one request on the flight so let's I will click another one and if you can see here let's say if I want to open the port 22 and then you have the option to uh, actually choose the protocols and then the allowed source IP and here you can actually make the request time to be in hours like the maximum hours that I we see here is 24 hours so if you are going to give access for one day you should probably choose 24 hours or if it's just an hour then you probably can uh, go ahead and do it so I just want to show you guys uh, this uh, features in just in time access so I have logged in as a JIT user as you can see uh, so this is a non-admin user let's go on to uh, Windows production box and then let's see uh, connect REP and you can see here that you know we have three options like other IPs all configured or my IP so let's give it a my IP request access and uh, the just-in-time request access is being uh, you know pushing up there and then let's you see here that says like request approach to access the windows box so i think uh we are uh, somewhere near to the end of the tutorial so once you get the access you should be able to get on to the box and do all the rdp things so let's before closing the tutorial let's go on to networking and i will show you the just-in-time access here so you can see here that um, the new rule has been created like just in time rule and uh, you can see the source port IP and the destination and it is allowed. So this is how you actually give access to the legitimate user using JIT and I hope you like this uh, tutorial and please give me a big thumbs up and if you have any doubts feel free to post it in the comment section guys. Thanks and have a great weekend. Bye bye.